guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl shana renee make sure you guys like comment and subscribe for the vibes i had to pick up the hat because i feel like y'all couldn't see my eyes because my hat is mad long but tomorrow we'll be getting rid of the hat because your girl's getting her hair done so i just came back in the house if you guys watched my last vlog you would have seen that i already put up my christmas tree here it is in the back period so it's pretty much done i just have to add one thing so Sharice actually gave me this idea so I sent her my tree and I'm like what you think like is it giving because one thing about Reese like she puts up her tree and her tree looks so nice every year so this year I really wanted to go all out and really put in a lot of effort to decorate my tree so she was like you should get like sticks for the top of the tree so these sticks are going to go like right at the top like right above right underneath the star it kind of just like hang i wasn't sure about like doing the silver i didn't want to overwhelm my tree with gold so i'm gonna cut this open is kind of thick so i'll show you guys how it looks i guess like little stars so like when you like pick one apart one looks like this and one thing about these christmas decorations it's so freaking messy so this is how it looks so i'm gonna put one on the tree real quick then i'll show you guys how it looks Ooh, gotta fix the angle so thank god i have this little i have my couch here and i have like a stool that helps me really get up there but let me see how this is gonna look looks up here okay you guys see oh hold on let me flip it one second one second y'all y'all see how it's just like hanging like with the ornaments right here so i have um six pieces so i'm gonna hang that up and then i'll show you guys the end result but i'm so excited about how this is gonna look and i also got this um black reindeer from target i already had this gold reindeer from target that i got two years ago but i also got a black one and i think that's all i got for now but let me finish this tree oh matter of fact before i get into the tree i'm about to charge my camera because it's about to die but we're gonna get into like a lot of christmas decor stuff in this vlog or maybe not because i'm about to be done but I am getting my hair done tomorrow. I'm excited. I have to take some content this week. So I'm taking you guys through my week of me getting content and just getting Christmas and holiday ready because, you know, once like Thanksgiving starts rolling around, like I already think it's Christmas. Like honestly, once November 1st hits for me, it's Christmas. So I'm super excited. So let me finish this and then we're going to look at the end result in a second. All right, y'all. Look at my hair. I look crazy. Um, But I just finished doing the tree thing. And I'll show you guys that like once it gets dark so you guys can still see the full detail. Look at this cute sweater I got for Bentley from Home Goods. It has a little reindeer on it. Bentley's like, get me out of this. Seriously. It's so cute. I love little stop. I love little knitted sweaters for him. Like I was at Home Goods and I saw it and I'm like, oh my god, he has to have it. It was just ten dollars. I'm like, yeah, you can get that. But I just got two packages. One from Farfetch and another, I don't know who it's from, but of course when I open it, we'll get into it. But I believe it's PR stuff because everything else that I ordered did not come yet. So let's open this Farfetch box because I didn't know what this is. Bentley, oh my God, you're kicking me. Hey, stop. Yeah, I already know what's in the Farfetch box. I've been waiting on this. And it came... And then press the timer, honestly. A pair of sunglasses. Look at the case. By the case, if you know what this is, then you know what's in it. I got another pair of the Way Way sunglasses. I've been really loving their sunglasses. And I've honestly been loving the color pink too. So when I saw these, I'm like, oh yeah. I need, look how cute. Hopefully they look good on me. I don't know what these look like. Um, 
I like them. I feel like all glasses look weird with a side part on me. That's why I don't wear sunglasses when I have a side part. But when I get my middle part back, I feel like we're gonna rock out with these. Oh, let me check the mirror. Yeah, I think these could, you know. You know, the way they always has like that weird like vibe. So I feel like this is very on brand for them. I'm watching Aja Nari's channel. I believe that's her channel. That's what's playing. But yeah. I feel like these are very on brand for the way they they kind of give me alien vibes but i feel like we could pull it off so that's what i just got from farfetch very happy that these came in because i wanted to match these with something in particular and hopefully it looks good with the outfit that i'm putting together so i got that and now let's get into this other box which is the big box I should not even be on camera looking like this, but when I tell y'all, I don't even care. Like, I really, I'm just like, whatever. Because I had the hat on, and I was getting hot. I was like, uh-uh, you gotta take this off. Oh, so, get this box open. This box is like, whoever take this needs a raise. They take the ish out of this box, okay? Oh, guys, look, it's a package from Skims. Oh, yes, I remember they were sending me this. I completely forgot. They sent me one of their lounger sets for Christmas, and it also came with like, like a holiday bag. Because I guess they want to be like in the holiday dinner spirit. Oh, how cute is this? Oh. So it's like a really cute bag. It says Skims. And then I just got, they just, got, they just gifted me like the top and the bottom. So I'm going to just make this cute real quick. Look at this big box. Like all their boxes have Skims on the inside. Like. That's how you know they got a high budget because this is a really big box and it just says skims on the inside. But yeah, it comes with the bag and then some tissue paper. I guess to add a little bag of gravel to the packaging. Oh wow. This is cute. I got um, the loungewear top. It's like the tank. I got this in a size small. It is a burgundy color. Really, really cute. Um, it also, it gave us two options between like burgundy and red. But I took the burgundy because the red was like real bright. And I also just got the leggings. I also have these leggings in cream, but they're like super old. So shout out to Skims for sending your girl some really cute loungewear um yeah i'm excited because this stuff is pretty good quality and i'm glad they sent it to me because it's expensive so shout out to sam for that yo oh my gosh i look so homeless it's not even funny but the glow up is coming um i'm about to dye my bundle so i have Three bundles here of 24 inch straight, and I have one 24 inch 613 bundle. This is how I achieve my um highlighted look. This is the hair dye I use. I use Just Five Jet Black mixed with Azure Jet Black. So this is what I mix together, and then I also use the T27 dye for my blonde hair. I just got some strip lashes from the last time because as you can see, I don't have no lashes on and I want to have lashes on tomorrow when I get my, my hair done. So, I'm going to show you guys how I just I just got a bucket. This is like a Belair champagne bucket. But you can take any bucket that you have or a bowl in your house. I just boiled up some hot water, right? So basically what you're gonna do is, 
Okay, I have a plastic spoon. So you're gonna need like a plastic spoon or like a, a comb or something to stir up the water. Hold on. All right, I had to go delete some footage on my camera. But anyway, you're gonna grab a bucket and something to stir the water because I'm basically gonna pour in the hot water. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm gonna pour in the hot water right here. It needs to be boiling hot, okay? Like, y'all see how the water's coming out? It needs to be super hot. It's only gonna work if it's really, really hot, right? So now I'm going to, ooh. I'm gonna add in my color. So I have, I can move this way up to see. Let's okay. we'll see how hot that is. So the way the Just Five color comes, this is permanent dye. So one is permanent and one is semi-permanent. Don't ask me why I mix them like this. It's just how I like it. Works for me. You don't have to do it like this. You could just use two boxes of Just Five or a door, whatever. But this is just what I do. So we're gonna pour this into that. Let's go. We don't have all day. And it's late, y'all. It's 11.45 p.m. Like, I don't know why every time I'm about to get my hair done, I have to start super late at night. But I was doing something else. So, like, I'm trying to literally do a million things at one time. I'm literally up talking to manufacturers about, like, this, like, design I want to do. And I'm trying to do my hair. And then other than that, what else am I doing? Doing laundry and I gotta take out my weave when I'm done. So I have like a lot of things I have to do before I go to sleep. So anyway, I'm gonna shake this up. I'm gonna let it sit for like a second before you pour it in because you want the color to you know start turning black. What the hell? So I'm gonna put the adore color in first. that in there look at that and be careful doing this because every time i have to dye my hair it just gets somewhere in my kitchen and stains something so I'm, i made sure i put on something i did not care about because it gets unintentionally messy we don't intend for it to get like this but it gets like this so anyway i'm gonna dump that in there i'm gonna put that to the side no, 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 no. You see, you see what I'm saying? You see what I mean? That just dropped and splattered on my countertop. So anyway, we proceed. So then now, I'm gonna take the top off of this and squeeze this in there. So this is this dye is permanent, so it's gonna keep the color on the hair like really, really, really dark. And now that they're both in there, I'm gonna take the knife. Let me hold this to the side. I'm gonna stir up the water. I'm gonna make sure. Oh my god, y'all, you see, like, this is why I cannot be doing this in the house. Well, in the kitchen, because I have white countertops and this shit gets everywhere. Right, the water is stirred up and it's very black, which is perfect. So now I'm gonna just. Take the hair and throw it in the water. Literally, that's all you have to do. So if you want a quick, fast, and effective way to dye your bundle, this is a good way. And I personally like to leave it in overnight. You don't have to, but I'm not in a rush and I'm just gonna wash it in the morning because I'm not doing this night before I leave. And yeah, nice, quick, and easy. Hold on. So yeah, this is, um. 24 inches of my straight hair. Let me show y'all. Nice and silky. It's gonna be so long. It's gonna be long because I haven't done hair this long in a little minute, so I'm excited. All right, y'all. Now, let me sit down actually because my legs are tired. Okay. So let me tell y'all what I've been doing recently. Oh my God. So your girl, mm, let's say since October 26, 27, 28th, let's say October 27th, since that date, your girl has been wearing press-on nails, right? So I have a set of, set of press-ons on my nail right now, 
and I decided to start wearing press-ons just because I had got SNS on my nails one day and it didn't even last like a full week like it cracked like the next day I was really annoyed because like you know these nail prices are through the roof so I'm like you know what I had just got like a PR package from Kiss and I'm like let me try the press-ons and I ended up loving them like I've had these on for today is Wednesday so Friday will make two weeks well it's in an hour not an hour in 10 minutes will be Wednesday so technically yeah it was about to, it's about to be two weeks since I had these on no lifting nothing it looks really good of course like my nails grow out so that's like the only issue they don't fall off nothing so your girl got some new press on today from Target I got these um kiss acrylic natural ones and I also got um, these like pink ones and these come with like sparkly nails. I'm probably not going to wear those. I don't really like nail designs. I only popped this one just to see like if I would like it. I wasn't too mad at it, but I don't really care. But I'm going to do these like pastel pink ones whenever I wear this. And then I picked up this one, which is a French tip, but it's like a little bit longer. But I don't like my nails long. But I'll probably just like file it down for more natural look. So I'm going to put these on tomorrow, right? And then I'm going to, okay, because I also got this like gel kit, which I'm going to open up on camera with you guys right now because I don't know what the hell this is. I was looking for like a actual like gel machine, but they didn't have that. But they had this. And I guess you just put one finger in at a time. This is going to be very time consuming. I can already see. But... It's the Lamini Macaron, Mac, I think Macaron or Macaron Gel Manicure Kit. Um, it's one step. It's semi-permanent. I don't really know all the details, but it comes with everything in the box. So the box has this white gel polish. You get like a nail file and you get gel removal wrap. So I guess like have a some. So I gotta plug this into something for it to turn on, but um, y'all, so I got it open. It's like a very white color. Can you guys see? Hold on. Yeah, it's super white. So, ooh, it stinks. We're gonna see how that looks tomorrow. Um, so yeah, what I do like about these is that it's like already like a white base. I only really got to put on one coat of the nail polish because I wanted to give like that, um, what's that popular nail polish color? It's like a snow bunny. I don't remember the color, but it looks like a cloud kind of color. Like it's not like white, 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 you know? So yeah, I'm just going to put one coat over that just to give it that little effect. And yeah, that'll be my nails. But yeah, y'all, try some press-ons. I was, I never had an issue with press-ons. I just never tried it because I just never had the patience but I'm like you know what these nail salons have been trying it recently and what I do like about these I just have ultimate freedom to do my nails as often as I want and I can fix them or whatever and I'm still gonna wear like regular nails but I'm just kind of like over the nail salon at the moment and I've been getting my nails done often so I'm like I want to learn how to do my nails because when I was younger I used to do my nails on myself all the time so I just want to get back on that. Oh, I haven't had my hair this long. It's long though to be just But well, I told you on 30 on me, it's like, Damn. that's why I said like. I think your bundles are long. 
You think so? Yes, I feel like they probably do the same 24, but that shit look like 20. When I, when, that's how I told you, when I wear 30 inches, that should be long. Touch it. Yeah, that's all I'm yeah. like, you sure that's 36, yes, girl? Because 36 would be at my ankles, <laughs> bitch. Like, <laughs> guys, we are back in motherfucking action. I said my eyebrows, they look good as hell. Okay, period. I said my eyebrows. My hair is done. I'm about to go to Trader Joe's because I want to cook some dinner tonight. Um, I literally made lasagna, I want to say, like on Sunday, and it just finished yesterday. So I don't got no more food. And I'm a leftover girl. I like eating leftovers. People think they're too good for that. I don't. What? Yo, the next person that's speeding through this freaking parking lot, they're going to get a beat down. Because what the fuck? Like why who be speeding like this? But yeah, now I'm headed to Trader Joe's. Um my hair appointment was early this morning. I know I did not come back on camera after I was dyeing my hair because it was late last night and I was just trying to be done with that and get some rest. But yes, y'all see I did like my blonde look again. My hair's just like a little bit longer. I want this to be my signature hairstyle now because I was gonna do like black straight but it was just giving boring you know and i wanted a little razzle dazzle so we got the inches in and i'm happy because i've been wanting my hair done for a little minute like when i tell y'all when i get my hair done it really like changes my whole outlook on life you know like my mood changes like i'll be ready to work like content 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 content, content. i'm also flood your instagrams so make sure y'all follow me at underscore Shane Renee because I'm about to drop some stuff this week. And I have a surprise for y'all that I will show you guys when I get in the house. A lot of you guys already noticed it from my last vlog and commented on it. So for those of you that pay attention, I appreciate that. Because people don't be paying attention. But for those of you that didn't pay attention, shout out to y'all. But when I get in the house, I'll show y'all my little surprise. And I'll probably give you guys a Trader Joe's haul once I leave Trader Joe's. Depending on how crowded it is in Trader Joe's, I might vlog, I might not. I don't know, but I'm heading there now. So, we'll talk when I get there. Alright, y'all. I just made it to Trader Joe's. And I'm about to get my newest addiction. Hopefully they have it. Or they do have it. I see it. Let me turn around. Oh my god. Hold on. Simple lines. Well, let me not say it's a new addiction because I've been getting it for like a little while. It's really good. But um, I always have to get that when I come to Trader Joe's because that one, you have a new lid. Um, I don't know what else I mean. I really want to make some chicken and rice, or like some steak and rice. So I'm going to get like some meat. Hey y'all, so I'm back in the house. Um, let me show y'all what I got from Trader Joe's because, you know, gotta give y'all a little Trader hole. Um, I was in and out of there because it was like crowded. I don't like being in Trader Joe's when it's crowded. So it's pretty much the same things that I always get, but I'm gonna show you guys for anyone who has not seen previous vlogs of what I show. I got the mandolin chicken, one of my favorites because we need a quick meal comes in handy the steamed chicken soup dumplings one of my favorites right now but you have to have it with soy sauce and sriracha so you can dip it because it's like a little bland without it i'm actually about to put one in the microwave right now because i'm starving and i need to eat so let me grab my cook before we continue this video. oh my god not a piece of my freaking microwave just breaking off like that what the hell just happened the hell? Wow. Anyway, sorry about that, y'all. I got that, that, then I got the mini chocolate covered pretzels. When I tell y'all, this is so good. Like, if you haven't tried it, definitely try to get your hands on them. Um, I got a second box of the dumplings. I got the chicken tikka samosas. This is the only Indian food that I really like. The chicken samosas. That's it. Everything else, I don't really like it, but it's not, it's not my tea. 
Got some jasmine rice. I normally get the other one, but this is the one that they had, so I got that. Jasmine rice is my favorite rice. I got some thyme. Thyme is a very essential herb in a lot of foods. I got some chicken tenders. I don't know what I'm going to make with that. I got my favorite, the sparkling berry lemonade. You guys always hear me talk about this. You got to try it. It's so good. I also just got some sirloin steak tips. I'm going to cook that tonight because I want like some steak with yellow rice and um, beans. So I'm going to do that. I got like some plantains. Not plantains. I wish they had plantains at Trader Joe's. I got some peppers and some limes. And then I got like some canned corn, some canned red beans. Um, I got some sparkling strawberry juice, which I've never had, but I think it's probably similar to this. But I'm going to try it and let you guys know what it's like. It looks like this. And then last but not least, I got sparkling, um, the simpler brand sparkling mango wine, my favorite. Um, all these things can for like about like $75, I believe, which is crazy because there's like nothing here. Like $75, like the price of stuff is getting crazy. But I'm about to put these stuff away, then I'll come back on camera. Are you gonna be? Say that you're gonna be. Hey y'all, so I'm back on the camera. Those chicken soup dumplings was 10 out of 10. So I'm here to make a little announcement because I know the girls want to know what I have coming since I'm no longer doing my boutique. So I'm ready to make the announcement. That's why I'm sitting here. First things first, look at the little wavy glasses now that my hair is done. You guys can get a better look on what it's about to give. Because it's giving. The way that has like the most unique glasses. And I love them for that. Bentley. Nobody's coming. So anyway y'all. Um, boutique is out. And now me, Shannon Renee. I will now be designing my own stuff. For my own clothing line. So instead of doing boutique. I'm having my own clothing line now. It's still going to be under the name Renee. But it's a rebrand and I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys a little bit about what I'm working on because I feel like a lot of you guys contacted me on Instagram when I first made the announcement saying, oh my God, why are you getting rid of the boutique? I'm praying for you. I hope all is well. Like on some sad vibes, you know, and I'm not sad. I'm very happy because Bentley, please sit down. His paws are so loud, like against the floor. I don't know why. But yeah, I'm far from sad. I'm very happy because designing is something that I've always wanted to do. Like as far as me having my own personal line. Um, and I'm finally happy that I'm taking the step to actually get it done finally. Like the boutique was always something that I just kind of did to see like how I would navigate selling clothes. And when it came to having a boutique, there was always something that I felt like was missing for me with the boutique. This dog. I feel like something was always missing. Like, even when I would order clothes from vendors, I'd be like, damn, this is cute, but it would look better if it had this, or I wish it had this or that. And it was just always something that I just didn't like. So I got to the point where I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of this. Like, and I wasn't really wearing my stuff that often anymore. Not that I didn't want to, but it wasn't just like resonating with my personal style anymore. And I kind of hated that. Like, I feel like the era in which I'm at now, I'm 26 years old, I'm maturing, I'm a different person than who I was when I was 21 or 22 when I started my boutique, so I'm, a, I'm in a whole different stage of life now, you know? So where I'm at now, I'm like, I want to do my own thing. And I am happy that I started with the boutique first because it gave me a more understanding on how like to source clothes or manufacturers and things like that. And it's totally different now because I'm really just, you know, putting my own twist on things. Um, I would like to launch around Christmas. I'm not really sure what my um, deadline um, launch date is going to be. But I'm just waiting to get my products sent to me so that way I have it on hand. 
because I don't want to do a pre-order like I really want to start this new venture off the right way have super fast shipping things like that so that way everybody gets their package really quick you know so I'm not sure exactly when I'm launching but it's supposed to be before the new year um of course I will have the date on my social media when I do decide so stay tuned for that make sure you guys are following me on all platforms they will be linked below um other than that um yeah I'm starting off small as far as what I'm bringing first but I already have like designs lined up for future drops so there's a lot to look forward to I'm really excited to start this new journey with you guys like I've had businesses in the past like you know I started my hair business when I was in college in 2017 um well my last business in 2015 then my hair business 2017 my um clothing boutique in 2018 like so you know was it 2018 yeah it was 2018 wow oh wow like time just be flying but i'm saying all this to say like i'm excited to take you guys on this journey with me because i've never documented anything like when it comes to my business it's always just like start a business there it is like you guys don't see like the work that i necessarily like put in behind the scenes and you guys really didn't see much leading up to this either because i was trying to keep it like you know private before i actually just came out and just like announced it but now that things are in the works i have like my manufacturers i'm sampling products i'm designing things like that so i'm like ready to talk about it especially since i'm about to launch soon so i definitely want to let you guys know what's coming so you guys could keep things in mind you know if you guys want to purchase something you know like when it's coming so first thing that i will be dropping when i launch are beanies um beanies are like super trendy right now and i'm loving beanies you guys know i love hats if you guys keep on my channel you guys know i love a good hat like whether it's a snapback bucket hat knitted bucket hat anything like i love hats i so i'm just like you know what i'm gonna do a beanie first and i've been wearing it personally but i haven't been showing you guys because i didn't really want it to be on camera too much i did like sneak in a clip in my last vlog of me wearing the beanie but i didn't make it too long because i don't really want you guys to see it and i just been posting like on my close friends on instagram wearing the hat because i wasn't really ready for anybody to see it yet but um yeah i'm launching beanies next month it was supposed to be for black friday but it's not gonna be ready on time like i said like i want things to just flow effortlessly but i'm about to show you guys the beanie so um this is the first colorway there will be like tons of other colors that are coming right be right behind this one literally like i already have other things in production like i said i'm just waiting for everything to come but this is a sample because the original the one that's actually coming in it's gonna look slightly different but the same it's gonna be the same colors i just did like a logo change but this is the renee beanie so it is like a bottega green color with a hot pink type of vibe and then we also have like the logo embroidered on the back you see it's like a backwards r so i'm like super nervous to even talk about this because it's just like when you start designing your own stuff or just putting out something that's like different you know it's different when you have like a boutique you know everybody kind of sells the same thing like when you actually put in effort to design something and make something on your own it's nerve-wracking because you don't know like if people are gonna like it if they're not but i personally love my beanie i'm also put it on right now so you guys can see oh hold on let me fix it I personally love it like the colors definitely represent who I am as a person I love colors of course I will have some neutrals for the people that aren't big on colors as well and that's why I styled my hair in the middle part because I'm actually gonna be getting some content this week in the hat and look the hat and the glasses just go perfectly together like you can't tell me it doesn't like what so this is just like so my style i love it like you see it goes with things that's in my closet like i hope you guys get your hands on this beanie when it drops and i hope you guys love it just as much as i do i have so many things coming it's gonna be clothing accessories get ready like it's about to be amazing the heat just came up and i wish the heat wasn't blowing all this time because i know the sound is gonna sound a little janky but i'm super excited to drop 
y'all like i've been putting a lot of effort into this like when i tell you guys i have to be up late night talking to manufacturers negotiating prices telling them my design i've been literally sketching stuff on my ipad i don't know how to draw but like your girls are making it happen like i literally have a bunch of sketches that's in my um notes and i'll just show you like a quick sketch of one color that's coming next make sure you guys sign up with your phone number for all updates that's coming so that way you can keep up with the launch um make sure you guys follow on instagram at shop renee nyc it's still going to be the same website same name we just have re i just rebranded okay we were branded it's a rebrand it's the new era i'm in my new era i'm not shana from two years ago i'm not even sharing from last week like every time you meet me i'm gonna be somebody new okay we're constantly changing and evolving and i just want to make sure that oops i am showing that within my brand as well so if anybody out there this is like your message if you have like a business that you've been doing or just something that you've been focused on but you feel like it doesn't represent who you are as a person anymore never be afraid to change anything about nothing that you're doing like do what makes you happy do what makes you you and yeah i hope my little story time announcement has motivated somebody today and i hope you guys enjoy what's to come from my brand and that's basically all i have to say for this segment of the video so yeah <laughs> hey y'all so i'm in my closet that i've been wanting to organize for a little while now and i just haven't found the time but i'm gonna just do a little bit real quick before i go to sleep so first things first let me show y'all what i'm working with before I show y'all, disclaimer, I've been making a lot of content that requires me to use my clothes and stuff. And it takes a lot of moving things around and digging through clothes. I ran out of hangers. I need some more hangers. So this is what I'm working with right now. Can y'all see? It's a mess. Like, I have a lot of stuff. But I just kind of want to clear out this little walkway area that takes me from the front of the closet to the back. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. And I don't even think it's good to do it right now. Because it must be like 11 o'clock and I'm already tired. But I do just want to kind of straighten up. Because I have a stool that belongs in my living room, in my living room under this huge pile of clothes. And I want to put it back in the living room. So... I'm just gonna try to like do that so I can put it in the living room and then the rest of the stuff I can save for another day. So, so today is given shoot day for the hat. I'm gonna get some content in the hat. I did my makeup so good today. Hold on, let me flip the camera so I can get into the details. I don't know if I'm wearing this bag yet though. I think it looks cute, like a little contrast. Oh yeah, and I have on camel pants. I've already worn this outfit, so I'm just like remixing it because I thought it was cute. But I'm gonna show you guys another option. I definitely feel like getting my highlights again was like the perfect touch for these hat pictures. Um, I haven't had my hair this long in a really long time. Like, this is only 24 inches, y'all. And it hits my ass. Like, it's touching my booty. Um, so I can't wait to take these pics. Um, I'm about to see how this other vest looks on. And I'll show you guys. And you guys can comment below and tell me which one you think I should have did. And obviously you will see which one I decided to do on my page. But the hair is given. The hat is giving. The hat is so cute. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to take pictures with this bag as well. Because like the hat, the pink matches bag and i have like yellow in my um cargo so it kind of will all like tie in together but mm, i don't know what to do i'm definitely putting on some sneakers also because that's all i can really wear for this outfit i also forgot to tell y'all that this strawberry drink from trader joe's that i got yesterday eight out of ten but I do like it. So if you want to try it, get your hand on it. And they have a bunch of other flavors too. 
Hey y'all, so I'm back in the house from taking pictures. I initially wanted to vlog while I was taking my pictures, but when I tell y'all it was super cold in Atlanta today, like my hands were freezing, I just couldn't. But the pictures came out really good and I posted them on Instagram today, so I'm really excited because you guys have been loving the hat in my comments. These are the pictures. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram if you want to see the details and everything. Um, so sorry, I'm picking my nose. Well, I'm not picking my nose, it's just itching. So, here's the update I am launching in December for sure. I just want to make sure the product gets to me. The product is still in production. Those pictures that I shot in with the hat is just a sample, but the hats look exactly the same. Like I told you, I just made a minor adjustment that's not noticeable at all. Also, yeah, I want to make sure I have the hats. I don't want to do a pre-order because I want to make sure, like, from this time I start my business, it's just great customer service. You order, your shit gets sent out the next day. Like, I want that kind of vibe. Um, two, people were commenting under my Instagram asking, are, are the hats custom? Meaning, like, they thought, like, their name could be on the beanie. And no, the hats are strictly just for me. Not for me but will be just under Renee. Like everything that you see will have the Renee logo, whether it says Renee or just a custom R logo, like to the brand, but nothing with different names. Just to clear that up, because I saw a few comments asking if it was custom, I guess because you guys know my name is Shayna Renee, but yeah, Renee is the name of the brand, that's it. Um, other than that, I was super nervous to post today. I'm just like, oh my God, what if people don't like the hat? But regardless, I'm happy. And this is honestly the first time where I feel like I'm actually living in my true purpose and doing exactly what I've been wanting to do for the, the longest. And it's like, I literally feel so like sure about this. Like I, I can't explain it. Like this is the first time in a long time where I've actually done a business or done anything where I feel like, you know, I am operating in my true purpose like fashion is my passion i have a passion for fashion literally and these beanies is obviously like a small part of what's to come but just being able to wear like my brand and style it the way i want to style it and love how it comes out and not feel like oh well it could have been better this way or that way i love what i'm putting out 100 percent, and i hope you guys love it too more details will be announced as we get closer to the launch date I have an idea of when it will be, but I don't want to say anything too soon before I get anybody's hopes up, but December for sure. Yes, there will be other colors in the beanies because that's another question that you guys were asking in the comments as well. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited to see what this new chapter brings. And like I told you guys, I will be bringing you guys along for the journey, along for the ride. I've never done this, like I said to you guys yesterday before. So I'm super excited to see what you guys think, your feedback, all of that. Um yeah so i just wanted to check in because i'm about to end off today's vlog and let me not say today's vlog because it was more than a day of vlogging but i'm gonna end off this vlog and i'll see you guys in the next one i hope you guys enjoyed and make sure you guys as always like comment and subscribe for the vibes bye <laughs>